Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Keys, and today we're gonna look at the Iron Gallahorn. I know at the beginning of the week on Twitter and Facebook, I posted a bunch of information with regards to leaked images, some leaked statistics, and some leaked information, and I wanted to take the week to kind of gather up all the stats and information and leaks that I could find throughout the web. Uh, and I'm coming back to you today with all that information. Now, as a quick disclaimer, this stuff can be changed at any point in time. Nothing is set in stone yet. The Iron Gallhorn and the year three kickoff with regards to the new DLC won't land until September 20th. So there's a lot of time between now and then for Bungie to make any changes or revisions. Uh, so these stats will reflect uh, you know, the information that I have as of right now. We're gonna look at the main perks of the weapon as well as, well as the, all the main stats. We're gonna do comparison between what we had in year one as well as what we're gonna see in year three as of right now. For any of you guys who are new to Destiny and just joining in year two, the Taken King, the Gallahorn was the most sought after exotic weapon in year one. Uh, I myself spent about 660 hours until I got my first drop, so you know I, I think a lot of newcomers in year two didn't really understand the grind that all the players saw in year one with regards to Vault of Glass and the other two raids that we had. Um, so just to give you an idea of why this gun was so powerful, why everyone was going after it, is it wasn't necessarily the base damage of the gun, it was one particular perk and that was wolf pack rounds. And that essentially did two to two and a half times the amount of damage. So as you can imagine when you're facing off against Atheon and Crota or Skolas from the Prison of Elders, you did a lot of damage when you had a fire team full of Gallahorns and it actually became a big LFG issue whereas people would only play with people with this particular weapon. So a lot of people were left out in the dark if you didn't have a lot of friends to play with. Now in the Twitch reveal stream, Bungie did say that Destiny The Rise of Iron would include the return of the Gallahorn, and it's available in two variants, the standard Gallahorn that we see now, upgraded to year three, as well as the Iron Gallahorn, which is the black variant available to those who pre-order the game. Both of these weapons will be obtained via an in-game quest similar to The Touch of Malice or No Time to Explain, and I'm sure there's gonna be some sort of time gating with regards to waiting until weekly reset like we saw in the No Time to Explain quest. Next we'll see the image that Bungie teased and it shows the Iron Gallahorn in the black variant as well as a little write up on what the Iron Gallahorn is and the updated stats for year three. We're going to take a look at both of these in the coming minutes. So as you can see it says the exotic rocket launcher, the Iron Gallahorn. I know there's been a lot of misinformation around the internet about hey is this going to be a legendary weapon, is it going to be an exotic weapon, I'm pretty sure this is a you know, proof perfect example of it being an exotic. And you can see that the perks are still the same uh, on the weapon. You've got speed reload, you've got wolf pack rounds, and everything else that we saw in year one. So I, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is gonna be an exotic weapon versus a legendary. And I don't really see us having to do a quest for a legendary weapon per se. Next we see the five stats for this weapon. The rate of fire is a little bit faster than year one. The blast radius is a little bit more than year one. The velocity is about half, actually. It goes from 90 to 47. The stability is very similar, and the reload speed is almost halved as well. So to outline this for all of you guys, I have year one in green and year three in red. So you can see that the rate of fire is increased, blast radius increased, velocity decreased, stability is increased by one, and the reload speed is decreased. One thing that we don't know is whether or not these stats are the base stats or the actual stats when uh, we're looking at adding on different perks. Um, so let's go take a look at the perks on the Gallahorn. And the perks you guys are going to want to look out for the most is Velocity and Reload, because those have the biggest impact. Soft Launch on the first tree, increased recoil boost to Velocity. Confined Launch, greatly reduced recoil significant penalty to Velocity. And then the last is Smart Drift Control, predictable and controllable recoil and penalty to Velocity. Next we have Tracking. Shells fire track targets. We also have our damage upgrade. Next, we also have quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. We also have snapshot. Aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. And then we also have speed reload. Reload this weapon quickly. You'll notice that the first two perks will impact reload minimally, but not that much. Next, we're gonna look at wolf pack rounds, and that's where this weapon shines, as what I mentioned before. Rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles. You also have our four damage upgrades that were standard in year one. 
So going back to what I said at the beginning of this screen, velocity and reload are the two things you're going to look at the most. Velocity in year one was 90, and now it's down to 47 with the new one. You can see the perks in the first tree aren't really increasing or decreasing velocity a whole lot. Um, the other thing to mention too is reload. Reload goes from 68 to 38, so it's a difference of 30. And you can see when I have snapshot or quick draw, it's not actually impacting the reload a whole lot. So reload is going to be you know, significantly lower in the year three Galahorn as well. So going back to the stat review screen between years one and years three, we can really draw out a few conclusions. The rate of fire is gonna be a little bit faster, but I don't think that's really gonna impact a whole lot. Um, you know, 11 to 17 isn't really a big difference. Blast radius will be a significant change. Uh, this is gonna be very close to the truth and it's gonna give you a larger blast radius, meaning you're gonna be able to kill enemies in a much larger radius. Um, velocity is much slower. Um, that will impact um, you know, the values of this gun. As you can see, it's a, a nerf of almost 43, um, which is pretty significant. I think we're gonna see a large impact in that. Now with tracking and wolf pack rounds, it's still gonna be an extremely viable weapon. The key difference that you're gonna see is when you fire the rocket, it's gonna take that much longer to get to the enemies and take them out. So I think we will see some, um, some difficulties with that. And last, the speed reload. And if we think back to year one, there were a lot of enemies um, that we used the Galhorn in our confrontations, and we were able to, you know, basically melt them within 20 to 30 seconds. And it was all based on timing of the respawning of enemies, the timing that we had left on a you know, weapons or blessings of light or something of that sort. So with the kind of nerf to the reload that we see here, we're not going to have those same sort of timings. So I think Bungie's actually looked back to year one and said, you know, what did we like about this weapon? What didn't we like? What did we see on the forums with regards to LFG? How are people actually defeating enemies? And they tried to really balance this weapon. And it is difficult to say, did they go too far? Did they, did they not go far enough? Um, given some of the changes, um, you know, I, I'm excited to see the increased blast radius. The velocity uh, is an issue with me and the reload is an issue with me as well. Um, but I think what they're trying to do is make it so that you can't have just one gun to rule them all like we did in year one. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this information was very helpful. Um, you know, if you guys are banking on this being the exact same as year one, I think you know, we might be unpleasantly surprised, for lack of better words. But I think this is still going to be an amazing weapon to use. And I'm really excited to, uh, to be firing off wolf pack rounds again and doing that year three damage that um, we're going to see. I was really upset when the gun didn't move forward into year two with the Taken King. Feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe. Be more than happy to engage with you guys in conversation as to, you know, other information that you've received. Um, if there's anything here that you find inaccurate, I'd love to hear about that as well. Uh, just keep the Iron Galahorn conversation going. Thanks again, Guardians, and see you in the Destiny universe.